certainly very profitable in many countries. Uh, it's certainly illegal. And I think possibly the awareness has increased, but just because the awareness has increased, it doesn't mean that the practice is stopping. It just means that uh, th these illegal traffickers get more and more cunning in the ways that they use to smuggle animals from one country to another. And, you know, the problem is that it's uh, immensely cruel. There's an enormous loss of life. And in some cases, for sure, animals are insured. And if those uh, particular animals die in transit, then the trader takes in the money for that and then he sends more. So he's making double and it, it's some of these practices are really horrible. Well, I don't think I can generalize because people are so different everywhere. Certainly some of them listen. Some of them are shocked when they learn some of the facts. Some don't listen at all, and those are very often the dishonest, corrupt ones who, who are actually making money out of it. They don't want to listen. But when we come to teachers and the general public, you know, once people are aware, once a, a, a particular situation has been exposed, say in the media, people are outraged and shocked. They very often don't know what to do and who to speak to. So I think this is why we get, a, you know, this situation perpetuated. But you mentioned children. And of course, what I'm doing most as I'm traveling around the world 300 days a year is growing our program for young people, Roots and Shoots, which is now in 120 countries. And these young people are going to have a completely new awareness about the problems in the world. So we're just starting here in Argentina. I think we have about 11 groups already. So that's why I'm here, really. <music> I think the most important thing is to start young children interacting with animals, say it's a dog or a cat, with a little guidance because children can be cruel, not meaning to be, because they don't understand that it's going to hurt if you poke an animal's eye. They're probably used to their toys. But once they know, once they become aware, uh, if they have the right kind of guidance, then they're going to keep that love for animals and that understanding of the similarities between us for the rest of their lives. And, you know, it's, it's amazing to me to see how quickly, how responsive children are when they are brought in contact with animals, even children who haven't had the experience before. There's something that they find amazing and wonderful if they have this opportunity to interact peacefully. There are many, many people who come away from my lectures actually crying. And there's a limit to the number of days I can travel. 300 is about it. I'm also trying to write books. All of these things are devoted to trying to wake people up, to help people understand, to make them realize that just like us animals have personalities, minds and feelings, uh, that to protect the wild animals, we must protect their ecosystems, that to take them out of their natural world, to sell them, is shocking. And as I cannot travel more than 300 days a year, I'm really happy that we have a new film out, Jane's Journey, which takes my message exactly the way I do, and it can go beyond me. I mean, I might die tomorrow. Now I know there is a vehicle that can take my message the way I want it to be taken. And it's about to be launched in Argentina tonight, as a matter of fact. I have enormous, huge hope for our youth. This Roots and Shoots program starts with preschool because that's terribly important. But we also work with all ages up to university. And some of the young people are youth leaders, our ambassadors are going into the schools, are taking this message, starting groups on their own, traveling around the world. And sometimes uh, young people listen more intently to another young person. There's something about that communication 
of age group to age group. So this is my hope for the future. My hope is that we create a critical mass of young people moving out into the adult world as the next teachers, the next parents, the next lawyers, the next doctors, the next decision makers. And that's what has to happen if we want to save this precious planet of ours and all the incredible, amazing, wonderful life forms with whom we share or should share the earth. Thank you.